everybody. Today I wanted to share with you my absolute favorite organic lip products. So these are lip color products, glosses, lip liners, and even kind of like a lip tint lipstick. These are great colors um, and particularly I'm a huge fan of pinks and mauves and um, berries and nudes so you're going to find a little bit of an assortment of the colors I picked out in this range. So let's begin. Okay, so the first product that I absolutely love that is organic and natural is from Burt's Bees. This is actually, and this is completely, the label is completely off actually, but it's kind of cute because you could still see the little bee on here and everything else just completely tapered off. But anyway, that's cute. <laughs> so this one is the shade um, Autumn Haze. And as you could tell, it's kind of like a golden champagne apricot. And I really love this one too because it's kind of like a goof proof color. You could sweep it on the lips. Um, you really won't get a lot of pigment from this. It definitely is meant to be more sheer. So I'm gonna sweep a little bit over the top of my hand so you guys could see this. So this is really great if you're looking for just like a nice natural champagne peachy nude. So there it is right there. Um, totally natural and the scent is really nice too. For me it smells like melon. So um, super lightweight going on and it actually is pretty hydrating for a lip gloss especially if you're looking for something that just gives a little bit of a tint. So this one is amazing and this one is from Burt's Bees. Shade is called Autumn Haze. Let's see, next up in my lineup, I have one from Bite Beauty, which I have become also obsessed with. Their lip colors are fantastic, their lipsticks, their lip glosses, everything that I've tried has been super on par with great ingredients and great texture formulations. This one in specific, uh, this one specifically, I should say, is called Rambutan. And the best way to describe this is kind of like a creamy nude peach. So in comparison to the Burt's Bees, this one has shimmer. This one does not. It's definitely much more of a creamy formulation. Think of it more of as a lacquer versus shimmer on the lips. Um, but this one, once again, like the perfect nude peach. And what I love about this too, it has a little bit more pink in it than the Burt's Bees. So if you're looking for like a nice pinky nude cream that's neutral, that's light and very wearable, this is it. So as you can tell, um, the texture quality is lacquer and shiny. It has a little bit more coverage than the Burt's Bees, but really pretty for just like a no fuss, everyday pinky nude lip gloss. So great ingredient stories from Bite Beauty as well. They aren't 100% organic, but they do infuse their products with a lot of fruit-based organic ingredients. Okay, so next up on the roster, heading into the pinker category, is one that I have from Vapor Organic Beauty. Now this is their Elixir Plumping Lip Gloss in Tickle, and this is the shade that I actually have on my lips right now. So as you could tell, it's reflective, not super highly shimmery, but it definitely has mica in it, um, which gives it that reflective appearance. And this is a cool toned light pink. Okay, so this is gonna really look nice on fair skin to light skin. Um, I think it looks great on women that have maybe blonde hair or like lighter hair. I think it's just like a really pretty light and bright dose of color. And as far as the texture goes, it is a plumping elixir, so it is meant to kind of plump up and boost the lips. However, you will not feel any kind of tingling sensation with this gloss. It actually has more of like a minty, minty fruity berry scent to it. Okay, so that's it right there. So if you look at the three, this is definitely along the cooler pink tone of the family. And it is also reflective, more reflective than Bite Beauty and even Burt's Bees, okay? So a nice lacquer finish. The one thing about this too is I do find that I have to reapply several times a day because if I'm eating something or if I'm maybe pressing my lips together or drinking something, it does come off. The wearability is not awesome, but it's a gloss, so it's meant to be reapplied and the texture is super silky. So. It feels super super hydrating on the lips and the texture and glide is awesome. So this is my favorite for a pinky cool, um, like a lilac pink, it's the one I'm wearing. Now to go just a little bit deeper, um, you usually find me wearing like pinky nude lip glosses all the time, but I actually received this one from um, Echo Bella and it's their flower color. 
And this one was recently featured in um, my Good Being box. So this is an organic vegan brand and the shade is called Power. And for a natural beauty brand, this pigment is like off the chart. So it's really amazing. Um, I actually wore this color to a wedding that I went to this past weekend. And this is definitely a mid to deep berry. I'm gonna stripe it on my hand so you guys could see. But it's buildable, so you could sheer it out or make it more dramatic depending on how much you relayer. So this is it right here. So a nice mid-tone berry shade. You would normally think of this color as a great fit for fall, but I actually really like it for summer too, especially with just like a clean lid, maybe a pop of color on the cheeks. It looks really modern and fresh. And as you could tell, there's a little bit of a sheen to it, but once again, there's actually no shimmer in this. It's more of a lacquer and totally buildable. Okay, so um, the scent is also lovely. It smells like vanilla extract. So if you love vanilla, you're going to love the scent of this. And there's an extra bonus. On the other side, there's actually a little mirror. So you could see how you're applying your lip gloss and you could make sure that everything is on point and blended out and that your lipstick is not found all the way over here. So really great for portable um, use and great to just pop in your bag and reapply when needed. The hold is actually very good with this and you can actually turn it into a stain if you want. So you would apply a sheer layer and then you would just tap off with a Kleenex and then reapply and then tap off again. You could easily turn this into a lip stain if you prefer to not have the excess shine. So this is from Echo Bella. The shade is Power. Once again, that mid-tone, really beautiful berry color. Okay, so now going back a little bit to the opposite side of the spectrum, I have a kind of lip tinted balm, I guess you would call it, from Pacifica. This is their Color Quench Lip Tint. Coconut Nectar is actually the shade. This is really great for anyone that really just kind of likes a nude, soft shimmer. Um, less of a gloss, more of a lip balm. Okay, so this really won't give you that kind of high shine metallic or like lacquer finish. This one also smells really nice. It kind of smells like coconuts and flour a little bit, or flowers. I'm gonna stripe this right along my hand so you guys could see. It is super, super natural. Okay, so think of this as kind of like a sand nude with metallic shine, but it's not a gloss. It's definitely much more of like a tinted lip balm. Very wearable. Um, it kind of does go a little metallic on the lips, so it's really pretty for summer, especially this shade in particular. And I think this would really look good with um, on all skin tones, specifically even more so maybe if you have a medium to tan or olive complexion. It just like looks like a beautiful kind of slightly bronze sandy nude with shimmer, but with not a lot of shine. So great, great color, great for every day too from uh, Pacifica. Super easy to wear, um, goof proof once again. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to lip liners. So I'm more of a lip liner, lip gloss girl versus being a lipstick girl. And I love that many brands out there have come out with these lip liner slash lipsticks that are kind of combined together because you give the lips definition and an easy to use stick and you can clearly kind of line the lips and fill in the color and combine with a gloss and then you're out the door. So this one is actually, once again, from Burt's Bees. Um, the shade is their lightest shade that they have, I believe, in this collection. It's called Sedona Sands. And to me, this is the perfect nude pink lipstick slash liner. I'm gonna swatch a little bit on the top of my hand. There it is right there. So it's a nice kind of light to mid-tone um, pinky nude. And as you can tell, it pairs beautifully with the three shades that I have here. So what I would normally do is I would line my lips with this and then I would fill in with a lip gloss and it really works well with any kind of pink, nude, or beige, whether it's shimmer or, la or lacquer, lipstick or lip gloss that you have. So once again, this one is um, from Burt's Bees. It's a natural company and I'm actually just gonna sweep a little bit and mix it in with my Vapor Plumping Elixir and just see how this works together. This is the first time that I'm trying this combo. So it should be really nice. And then what I do is I always fill into the lips, press the lips together, and this kind of locks and seals the lip color. So really natural looking definition, and the wearability of this lipstick slash lip pencil is also great. Comes in assortment of colors. My go-to is any shade of nude pink, of course, so this is why I have that one. 
Okay, so next up I have another lip crayon, essentially. So like your lipstick and lip liner in one. This one's from Honest Beauty, and this one's going to be more of a peachy nude versus this one from Burt's Bees. And I actually have about three to four shades, I think it's four, of these in my stash from Honest Beauty. And these are actually more matte and finish. So when you apply them, they're not gonna really have any shine. They do go more of a creamy matte. The wearability, once again, is fantastic. But this shade is going to go a little bit more peach than pink. So this is Honey Kiss, which is really great if you're going for that kind of slightly demi-matte nude lip. You can easily just use this as a lip liner, or you could fill into your lips and use it as an all-around lipstick and liner. And then you can kind of be done with it, or you can top it off with a gloss if you want a little bit more of a multi-dimensional effect. So as you could tell, this one really pairs beautifully with any of these right here, um, except for this one, unless you want to use it as a base and then apply the Echo Bella lipstick over it. I generally just skip lip liner with this shade or I choose a lip liner that's the closest to this as possible. So with the Honest Beauty lip crayon, you're definitely going to go a little bit more matte and creamy versus high shine finish, although they do have a sheer kiss formulation of these, which kind of acts a little bit more like a lipstick and lip gloss hybrid pulled together. So that is Honey Kiss from Honest Beauty. Love, love, love that one. And then last but not least, the brightest shade that I have, aside from the Echo, Belly lip, Echo Bella lip gloss, is my Kira Weiss Lip Tint in Romance. Now, this is a really gorgeous shade for summer. I actually use this on cheeks and lips. You have to really appreciate KW's packaging. It kind of is like a little work of art. It's a magnetic uh, closed top case like this. It is a little bit on the heavier side, so um, I don't usually take this with me for touch-ups unless I'm bringing minimal products in my bag, but just to let you know, this does actually come in a refill. So when you purchase this, you could just purchase the refill itself and then keep it in like the plastic container it comes in to create a little bit more of a lightweight um, environment for your bag and your hand. So with this shade in particular, it's a really, really pretty coral pink. Once again, perfect for summer, and this you can even build up. You can create a little bit more of a sheerness to it, or the more that you layer, the more intense it will get. Um, I like to use this and dab on with my fingertips, um, mostly just because I feel like it concentrates the color nicely, and then I just build it up that way. But there you have it. It's kind of like a coral pink, really pretty on all skin tones and an extra little bonus is that you could even use this on the cheeks so you can create that really pretty kind of flirty pink effect on cheeks and lips with this color i really love it the texture finish has a little bit of sheen so it's not a full-on gloss it's a little bit more of like a lipstick cream blush hybrid if you will okay so Really, really lovely, and this one wears very, very well, especially for a lip tint. Um, and also, I would even consider this a little bit more of like a lipstick finish versus a tint because you do get a little bit more color and pigment payoff. However, you can adjust the coverage levels as needed. So I am going to list all of my favorite organic lip products, glosses and lipsticks that you uh, see here that I went through today down below, including on where to purchase them. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, share, and comment. And thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys have a beautiful week. All right, see you guys later. Bye.